afternoon. Here is the news at one. I am Timmy Dio Anthony. As the June 5 Annual World Environment Day celebration draws nearer, the Lagos State Environment and Protection Agency, La CEPA, has reaffirmed its commitment to implementing government sustainable environmental policies aimed at mitigating climate change effects, promoting a circular economy and ensure environmental protection against drought and desertification. But speaking during a pre-event press conference held in Alausa, the LACEPA General Manager, Tundi Ajayi, said there will be an essay competition aimed at raising the consciousness of our youth on environment preservation, desertification, and other climate change mitigating effects towards achieving a sustainable environment for a healthy living. He said as part of its core advocacy program for World Environment Day celebration for the year 2024, the agency is partnering with some production industries to sponsor the essay competition among undergraduate students across all the share institutions in the state as a way of involving youth in the task of environmental preservation. Ajayi added that the agency is scaling up its advocacy program in schools and colleges to carry youth along in the implementation of government reform policies geared towards combating climate change and greenhouse effects for sustainable environment growth. The general manager, Lagos State Parking Authority, at DBC Adelabu, has called on stakeholders in the hospitality industry to comply with Lagos State Parking Policy and make adequate arrangements to meet their customers' parking needs. Adelabu made us known while speaking as a panelist at an event engagement session organized by the Lagos State Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture for stakeholders in the hospitality sector on current industry challenges, emerging trends, policy frameworks, and collaborative opportunities within the entire hospitality value chain. She stressed that it is the duty of those who own and operate facilities such as hotels, bars, and other event centers to make adequate provision for parking for their customers and clients. Adelabu urged event centers to ensure ample parking provision for their guests right from the onset of constructing their facilities. President Bola Tinubu has ordered security agents to go after the killers of five soldiers in Abba, Abia State, and those beyond the call for seats at home in the southeast. The president, who was reacting to the murder of five soldiers in Aba on Thursday, May 30th, by elements suspected to be members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, warned that the federal government would come down heavily against those who have made the habit to needlessly attack officers and men of the armed forces. Tinubu says soldiers and police have the duty to protect the people from aggressors and non state actors noting that hundreds of them are paid the ultimate price in fulfillment of their duties, while some have experienced the indignity of being manhandled by the people they protect. The president sent his condolences to the families of the five state soldiers, their colleagues, and the leadership of the armed forces, urging other men and women on peacekeeping, peacekeeping duty not to be discouraged by the unfortunate incident in Abba. And now to foreign news. China says its unscrewed craft has successfully landed on the far side of the moon. According to China National Space Administration, the Chengxi touched down in the South Pole Attican Basin on Sunday morning. Launch on 3rd May, the mission aims to collect precious rock extracting some from the moon's oldest rocks from a huge ketra on the South Pole and soil from its region for the first time in history. The landing was fraught with risk because it is very difficult to communicate with spacecraft once they reach the far side of the moon. China is the only country to have achieved the feat before. Landing is Cheng 4 in 2019. Beijing's brother strategy aims to see a Chinese astronaut work on the moon by 2030. Now, the U.S. also aims to put astronauts back on the moon, with NASA aiming to launch its Atom 3 mission in 2026. And now to sports, Vinicius Jr. created a new record in UEFA Champions League final after helping Real Madrid overcome Borussia's Botmont 2-0 on Saturday. The Spanish defender opened the scoring on 74 minutes after adding home to Tony Crocs' corner kick. Venetia has then sealed it on 83 minutes as he slotted home after receiving a pass from Jude Bellingham. 
following his goal after Dortmund. Vinicius has become the first ever Brazilian to score in multiple Champions League finals. In 2022 final against Liverpool, the forward got the only goal as Madrid won 0 Just before we go, ensure you make use of your seat belts while driving. You can also follow us on like all of our social media platforms. X, Traffic Radio 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch the news and program live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at trafficradio961.ng. But did you know that the Samolu administration injected 100 high medium capacity buses for standard fruit? You can get more details on the Gusted Government website. And for contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news. Broadcast compiled by Adewa Ajayoka. I am Timmy Dio Anthony. Many thanks for listening and have an amazing Sunday.